Hello children, in the previous video we learned more about perimeter of a figure by some interesting examples. In this video we will see some of the misconceptions relating to this. Both Bhola and Bunny have taken part in a race. Bhola, I will run one round around this square shaped tank and you will run one round around this rectangle shaped tank. Whoever completes one round of this tank first will win. Bunny told Bola. Bola agreed and the competition started. Both Bunny and Bola started running very fast. Bunny circled this tank before Bola. I won! I won! Bunny danced excitedly. Your tank was square shaped and my tank was rectangular shaped. And because the perimeter of a rectangular figure is more than that of a square shaped figure, I traveled more distance compared to you. So it took me longer. Bhola told Bunny. Bunny heard this and started laughing. <laughs> no, Bhola. It does not necessarily mean that the perimeter of a rectangle is always greater than the perimeter of a square. We both circled our own tanks. So the distance we covered would be equal to the perimeter of those tanks. Let us calculate the perimeter of these two tanks. Let's find out. Then you will know that both of us have covered exactly the same distance. Let's see, Bhola. The size of the side of my square shaped tank is 5 meters. So, the perimeter of the square shaped tank will be 5 multiplied by 4, that is 20 meters. And the length of your rectangle shaped tank is 6 meters and the width is 4 meters. So, the rectangular tank will have the perimeter of 6 plus 6 plus 4 plus 4 or 20 meters. Thus, the perimeter of these two tanks are exactly the same. In other words, we both have covered the same distance. Now, do you agree that I have won? Bunny asked Bola. Yes, I understand Bunny. In celebration of your victory, let us go to eat ice cream at Babban's ice cream stall. So Bola and Bunny, both friends, went to eat ice cream. Children, in this video we have seen some misconceptions related to perimeter of a figure.